Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to remove unwanted objects from your videos using Canva. By the end of this walkthrough, you'll know exactly how to clean up your video clips and create a polished, distraction-free final product, no fancy software required. Whether there's a logo you don't like, a stray water bottle in the background, or anything else you wish just wasn't there, this method will help you cover it up quickly and easily. Let's dive in and get started. So first things first, let's open up Canva. If you haven't used Canva for video editing before, don't worry, it's incredibly user-friendly. Once you're in, click on Create to start a new project. You'll see a variety of design types. Make sure to select Videos. Choosing the correct project type is important because it ensures you'll have the right layout and export options for working with moving footage. Now upload or select the video you want to edit. When you're ready, navigate down to the bottom right corner of Canva and click on the full screen icon. Playing your video in full screen mode lets you see the details at their largest size, which is super helpful when you're trying to pinpoint exactly where that unwanted object appears. Once you've found the exact moment where the object is visible, take a screenshot by pressing print screen on your keyboard. If you're using a Mac, this might be Command plus Shift plus 3 or Command plus Shift plus 4 depending on your settings, but the key idea is to capture that frame as an image. Don't worry if you miss it on the first try, you can always play through again and grab another screenshot. Next, exit full screen mode and paste your screenshot into a new Canva design using Control plus V or Command plus V if you're on a Mac. You should now see an image of that paused video frame right on your Canva canvas, ready to edit. Now comes the fun part, removing the object. Canva has a really cool tool called the Magic Eraser. Select the image and head over to the editing options where you'll find this feature. The Magic Eraser lets you brush over the object you want to remove. Take your time with this, use a brush size that fits the object and slowly paint over it. If you accidentally erase too much, you can always undo and try again. Think of it a bit like erasing pencil marks. Sometimes a slow, steady hand gives you the cleanest result. Once the object is gone, you want to crop the image so that you're focusing on just the area where you made the edit. Cropping helps you create a patch that matches the background and covers the problem spot seamlessly. Adjust it carefully, lining things up here makes all the difference between a fix no one notices and one that looks a little obvious. Finally, drag this edited and cropped section back over your video at the right spot to hide the unwanted object. Play your video through, it should now look much cleaner. Don't worry if the first result isn't perfect, sometimes you might need to tweak the patch or play with the size to get it just right. With a little adjustment, you'll have a professional looking fix in no time. And that's it, you've just learned how to remove objects from your video using nothing but Canva. It's a straightforward method that anyone can do and it makes such a big difference. If you found this tutorial useful, please give it a like, ask any questions you have down in the comments, and don't forget to hit subscribe for more easy, practical tutorials just like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.